You want to see the cheapest, easiest way to catch hogs? Eradicate them from your property? Well, it, it amounts to a whole bunch of T-posts and four cattle panels. It ain't that big. How's it work? Well, we put some corn out in front of the opening of the queue. And so the hogs come in and when they're rooting around for the corn, uh, they trip this string right here and the gate will close trapping them in and when it closes they can't reopen it so they're stuck in there well, why does the gate close because over on this side there's a little piece of wood and just like that just like that well there you go when the wood is moved off of the fence post, sitting like this, the string lets go. They can't just open the gate? No. Why is that? Well, the force of the fence, one, clicks it in, so it gets stuck in there. And if I'm having to pull it out that much, I don't think a hog is going to be able to just push it open. That's right. One of the tricks to it is when you cut your cattle panel, leave those little things about an inch long, half an inch, an inch, and make sure they hit right there so that if a hog smashes into it, he locks it and it dang sure ain't never coming open. So show them how to set that trigger. Okay. I need it. Flex it a couple times, show it clapping, how it works. Bam, just slam shut on it. That's just the tension in the C panel. Now it's stuck. Oh, naturally. Okay. By the way, a hog, when they want to, can squeeze in here and push in it sometimes. But I ain't seen that happen but one time. Folks say it happens a lot, but... I ain't seen it happen a lot. We put corn right there? Yeah, that's where we're gonna put the corn. We had a good pile, but we caught a hog last night. So we gotta reset it. Reset it. Um, so we've got two pieces of wood and the string tied in a little circle. I'm gonna make sure I'm doing this that way. It Just show them how to lock it open. And lock it open. Leave it like that for a day or two and let them eat the corn and get used to it, whatever you want. Then you set the trap. Which is what we're doing. So, on a little piece of wood, we're using the smaller side because it's easier to knock it over. Hair trigger. Go a good bit lower down, down the fence. Yeah. 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 There you go. Just kind of stab it in the ground a little bit, give it a good resistance. There you go. Oh. Just right. You now, hog comes in there and they eat on the corn, and somebody's gonna get out him, bump that. And it flips off pretty easy. Let me show you how to operate that one thing. You take it, put the string right up against it, there's almost no resistance now. If it were. If the string were way down the stick down here, 
There'd be a lot of resistance on that stake. Well, that's not really all that great for hair triggers. I like to put it about right there. Then I'll put it against one of those, just like that. And then put that stick on just any old chunk of anything. Any old little crack right there. Now, that baby's ready to fall. I'm going to leave it set just like that. Let me scoot the stick out a little bit, give it a little more hair trigger. Now it's ready to go. And what's crazy is, a deer will walk in here and eat on this corn with that string right there. And they won't even touch it. They know it's there and they just walk around over the top of it. Clumsy hog, he'll bump into that steak eating that corn eventually. He done. And that's it. We're sitting ready to go for another evening. Now we gotta go clean hogs. Ready to clean hogs? No. Yeah.